What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the VX200. All right, guys, so the random question of the day is, if you had to either shave your head or dye your hair pink, which one would you choose? Well, considering I don't really have hair to begin with, I'm going to apply this to my beard, and I've said this time and time again, I will not be shaving off my beard anytime soon for any reason. So with that, I'm going to say that I will dye it pink. I really don't care what color it is. It could be pink or brown or blue or green. I really don't even care as long as it's on my face. It's kind of like a part of me now. But I want to hear from you guys, which would you rather choose, either shaving your head or dyeing your hair pink, let me know right down there in the comment section below. So here I have the VX200 mod with the dual disposable sub-ohm tank on top, and this is from a company called Ogvape. Big shout out and thank you going to Ogvape for allowing me to take a look at one of these devices for the purpose of making this video. So I feel like this is going to be a trend for 2019, the year of the disposable sub-ohm tank. Now this one has a mesh coil, adjustable airflow, and it's refillable with a little silicone stopper on the top here. The mod itself is very plasticky, but I gotta say for the price you pay for this kit, it's definitely a good Value. So taking a quick look online, there's four different color options for you to choose from. You've got red with red tanks, black with black tanks, gunmetal with clear tanks, and gunmetal with blue tanks. I have the gunmetal with the blue tank here, as you can see, and it's only going to run you between $45 and $55 online, depending on where you're looking. And I got to say, that is a hell of a good deal, if you ask me. If you guys want to pick one of these up, I'll have a link on my website. Link to that will be right down there in the description below. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got the VX200 kit in its original box. So let's quickly take a look around the packaging, then we'll talk about what's inside. So pretty basic stuff here. We've got a picture of the device and tanks on the front with a little spot gloss. We've got a big-ass nicotine warning here at the bottom, which we typically see on products from the UK and Europe. On the back here, we have what the kit contains and some company information and another big-ass nicotine warning. Let's take a look at the Jewel tanks themselves. They come in their own little box here with another little nicotine warning. Three pieces, best use 50 to 70 watts and it's a 0.15 ohm coil on the back we have some color indications here mine are blue with a little authentication scratch and check and some more company information and nicotine warning so let's go ahead and pop open the box here and take out the tanks as you can see i have already used and disposed of one of them this one has juice in it still and this one is fresh so with that let's go ahead and just put those off to the side and we'll take a look at the mod here real quick. We've got the nice VX200 box, as you can see there, and just the little UPC and a scratch and check on the back. And very simple insides here. We've got a nice little booklet. Considering this is such a cheap package, they didn't skimp on the booklet, so definitely bonus points there, Og Vape. We've got a little USB cable. I'll add that to the collection and we've got the mod itself and there it is. So let's go ahead and take a better look at that in just a second here. All right, guys, let's talk about the specs. First of all, it takes two high amp 18650 batteries. The wattage output range is five to 200 watts. It has three power modes, normal, soft, and high. Variable voltage output from 0.5 to 7.2 volts. It has temp control from 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, compatible with nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. It also has TCR mode and ohm lock mode. It has a 1.3 inch OLED screen, three button control interface with side mounted oversized firing panel and dual adjustment buttons, magnetic battery panel, and it has a micro USB charging port, which has upgradable firmware, ABS and polycarbonate construction. It has low voltage protection, overheating protection, short circuit protection, over current protection, reverse polarity protection, and high resistance protection. As far as the dual sub ohm tank goes, it's 25 millimeters in diameter. It's got a built in mesh coil rated at 0.15 ohms. It's made of Canthal mesh, recommended 50 to 70 watts, best at 65. Top fill system with a silicone plug seal, 3 mil standard capacity with two 8 millimeter by 2 millimeter air slots, integrated 8 millimeter wide drip tip, polycarbonate body construction, and it's got a gold plated 510 thread. All right, guys, so let's set up this VX200 kit. First thing we're going to do is remove the battery back door. And these panels are actually somewhat transparent. I don't know if it's going to show up on video too much, but yeah, you can actually see through them which is kind of neat. These are labeled positive and negative in the bottom of the trays. So let's just go ahead and throw our batteries in there in the correct directions. So there we go, just like that. And boom, we are ready to go here. Now this screen 
is very, very dim. I'm not even sure it's gonna show up at all. So let me just real quick adjust the camera so hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about here. All right guys, so here's the screen on the VX200. As you can see, it's got all the pertinent information right there displayed for you. If you wanna get into the menu, it's just three clicks on the fire button, one, two, three. And there's your menu system. You can navigate using the up and down buttons here. So just like that. Pretty simple navigation. And if you wanna just click on something, just tap the fire button and there you go. It's got the sub menus in there for you. I'm just gonna go back real quick. And that's just basically to show you guys the actual menu. If you go to settings, you can change the color on this as well. And you can even go as far as doing a custom color. But honestly, the one that shows up best is the white on black. So I'm just gonna leave it there for right now. And let's just go back to the main screen. Boom, just like that. And this is adjusted in full watt increments just by tapping these buttons here, just like that. So there you go, that's a pretty quick rundown of the screen and menu system. So as you can see at the bottom here, it's got a micro USB port for charging and firmware updating. And that's pretty much it on this thing. There's really not too much else to talk about. Here is the big side firing bar. And on this side here, you have a couple little vent holes and aug vape engraved in this thing, which kind of looks pretty cool, if you ask me. The 510 connection up top here, nothing really to write home about. It looks press fit to me. Nothing there to actually hold it into place like screws or anything like that. And there you go, that's pretty much the VX200 in a nutshell. Now, as for the dual sub ohm tank, it has a fixed drip tip up top here. This is not removable, so you're kind of stuck with that. It's got a little silicone stopper up here at the top for you to fill it up with. Fairly easy to fill, you just want to move that out of the way. And it's got a decent sized fill port, best used with, of course, needle tip bottles or unicorn bottles, that kind of thing. On the side here, you can see the diamond pattern on there. It looks kind of cool, kind of those, uh, those facets on there really do like that very fancy looking on the bottom here it just says jewel and this is also your airflow control so you can see the airflow slots right there and of course matched on the opposite side and these are fully adjustable and you can see right there just kind of shifting that left and right adjusts your airflow so that's pretty neat on the bottom here nothing much to write home about just a simple little 510 connection with gold plating so i actually ripped open one of these tanks just to see what was inside and uh, not surprisingly i found a little mesh coil so this is your mesh coil it has a little thing at the bottom there which connects it to the 510 and there you can see on the inside a very much burnt out coil so not sure if you guys are getting the full detail on that actual coil piece there but uh, maybe I'll just rip that out real quick and show you guys. So here's the actual mesh piece itself and as you can see it's in pretty decent shape although I was getting really nasty flavor off of it towards the end there but you could probably see that the upper section here is a little bit on the burnt side so I'm not sure if that's a wicking issue issue or what but there you go uh, yeah definitely a few little scorch marks on there the cotton tells a whole different story so uh, hopefully you guys can see that definitely burnt up towards the top edge this edge right here was actually the piece on the top and the rest of the cotton inside there is pretty worse for wear as well so uh, these coils are okay but I would say they're only gonna last you a week tops but there you go that's the basics for the VX200 kit let's go back to the main screen have a quick vape on this thing and we'll talk about it some more Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of this video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off with the pros, my first pro is that it's super lightweight. This has got to be one of the lightest dual battery mods that I own. I even forgot that it was in my pocket today when I got to work. I found it, and you know what? This is one that you can carry around all day long, and you're barely going to notice it's there. My second pro for this one is that it's got a full sidebar firing button, which is nice because you basically just grip onto the mod, give it a squeeze, and it's going to fire up every single time. Never had any issues with a fire button whatsoever and it's really nice and clicky. My third pro today is that it's sleek and stylish. I really like the styling of this thing, very modern looking, and it reminds me a lot of the Vapresso Revenger, which I'm a big fan of, so I definitely enjoy looking at this thing. It's one of the prettier mods that I have in my collection. And my fourth and final pro for this one is that it's super duper affordable. It's anywhere from $45 to $55, which in any case is a really good deal for a full kit. It's a two battery mod with three disposable tanks, and I gotta say, that is just a great deal. If you're balling on a budget and you really need a dual battery full kit, right now without breaking the bank, then the VX200 is going to be an excellent option for you.
All right, guys, so moving on to the cons. My first con is that these tanks don't really last all that long. Now, I've been testing this thing out for about three or four weeks now, and I've already gone through one of the jewel tanks that comes with this thing. But with that, I only got about five to seven fills out of it. So you're really not looking for longevity with these tanks here. And with that, the flavor is really good at first, but it dies off fairly quickly as well. So not a huge fan of these disposable sub -ohm tanks, but they definitely come in handy in a pinch. My second con for this one is that the screen is really dim. Now, now you can change the color of the screen, but you can't change the brightness. The only color that I found that is the brightest is the white on black, and unfortunately it's still pretty dim at that. If you're out in direct sunlight, this thing is going to be nothing but glare, and you're not going to be able to see that screen whatsoever. And my third con today is that it's very cheap feeling, which is kind of understandable, but it's going to scratch and probably break very easily as well. I've only been testing this thing out, like I said, for a few weeks now, and I've got several different scratches and scuffs on this thing, and I'm really not super rough on my devices. I'll, I'll throw it in my pocket and things like that, but otherwise I'm pretty gentle on mods. So if you are one that is very rough on devices, then I would not recommend this kit for you. And my fourth and final con for this device is that it feels underpowered. Now, I don't actually have the equipment necessary to test the output on this device. I've compared this mod with several other mods using my Falcon tank with an M1 coil at the same exact power setting on all of them, and this one definitely feels like the oddball out being the weakest. So with that, like I said, really don't have the equipment necessary to actually give you a number, but for me, it just feels a little bit underpowered. So at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for review? Eh, I'm kind of on the fence about this one. On one hand, you have a very affordable, relatively reliable, easy to use mod that's gonna be good for people that tend to lose mods or just want something super cheap. And on the other hand, you have the fact that it feels underpowered, feels very cheap, and the sub-ohm tanks that come with it really aren't anything special. So this one could kind of go either way for me. As far as I'm concerned, this is best used as a secondary mod so you don't have to take your expensive ones out with you. And if you drop it or break it or lose it or get it confiscated, then it's not going to be the end of the world. But if you guys want to pick one of these up for yourself, I'll have a link on my website. Link to that will be right down there in the description below. But that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Leave your comments down in the box below and make sure you check me out on my different social medias. Links to those are right down there in the description below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, vape on.